What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Corey, and today I got with me two very special guests who've both been number one player in the world at different times. And I want to talk to them and get all their opinion on the most recent update. We're going to talk about landscape mode. We're going to talk about the dual joysticks. And I want to talk about Brawl Stars' potential as an eSport. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so let's introduce my guests. So first off, we got... Both of these guys have been on the channel before, but we got with us Keith. How's it going, man? That's pretty good. Glad to be back. No problem. Glad you could come. We also got OG as well. How you doing, brother? Hey, I'm doing all right, Corey. Thanks for having me. No problem. All right, so today we're going to talk about the update a bunch. So first off, I think there's like two main gripes that a lot of people have with the update. The first one is pretty obvious, the controls, right? The second one is landscape and i feel like the opinion is a little more split on landscape mode how do you guys feel let's start off with keith well, i'm I sorry agree about, about landscape. landscape yeah like i don't think landscape is itself the worst thing about mm -hmm. the update like i could i can see myself getting used to landscape it's definitely the controls that are the main problem like, that's that's your biggest problem game. yeah by far what about you og um, so I kind of prefer portrait still, but like I could definitely see myself getting used to landscape. Like I think the game does look a lot better in landscape. Yeah. My only issue with it right now is like all the maps are basically designed vertically, right? So mm -hmm. with the lot of brawlers, you can't even see like where half their shots end. Yeah. I think one thing that's gonna be pretty interesting is how Brawl Stars decides to go with the maps. Like what sort of maps they decide to do. There was a recent post on Reddit where someone did a new map, and it was honestly it was sort of like a showdown map where it was just a big square. But I feel like that would work pretty well because you can see maybe a little bit smaller than a showdown map, but just have it more um, more horizontal where you can have more width to the game. I think something like that would be good, but it'd definitely be a little interesting to see where they go with the maps. Yeah, I saw that concept. I thought it was a really like cool design. Mm -hmm. It's just like a matter of tweaking the maps for me. That's my main issue with landscape right now, but yeah. I'm sure they that. Yeah, I'm sure there's something going on. One thing that was I felt not great about in landscape mode is it does feel a little bit slower. Have you guys noticed that? Mm -hmm. There's definitely like a big delay with some of the brawlers. I've noticed it like the most when I use Barley or Might. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they got hit hardest by this update. I think like even the controls... It's pretty brutal with them now. Yeah. And auto aim. Like, they're one of the guys that it's, like, basically irrelevant for. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right. So let's talk about the controls a little bit. How would you guys try and fix the controls? What sort of things do you think needs to happen? For me, in like an ideal world, they would add an option for tap to, you know, tap to aim back. Like, tap to shoot. Just, yeah. Some, some form of, like, system that could like help aid the the players that are so used to this like i've got like twenty thousand plus games played on this uh system before so it's really hard to adjust right yeah we've played this way for eight months basically yeah yeah definitely. and like me and keith have played like obsessively right so mm -hmm. i don't think like I'd sometimes ever prefer, yeah i don't think i'd ever prefer any uh, other controls over to like tap to shoot it just felt like it worked so well with the game like i did not expect them to even like consider changing anything with it well yeah i think that caught us all by surprise for sure yeah <laughs> um, now what about if you guys were to do tap to shoot do you think you would want to change um do you think you need to change the maps to suit that because like imagine i can understand why the brawl Stars team was hesitant to go tap to shoot and they're like you know, you're playing landscape mode. Imagine you have to tap, like, in the top left corner. You know, if all of a sudden your hand is covering two-thirds of the screen, not mm -hmm. a really ideal situation. Um, how do you think you guys would get around that? Do you think that's a, a big deal? Um, or is there something you can do to get around that? We'll start with OG. Um, I don't know. That is a tricky situation, but I feel like it's something that you could definitely, like, work with have to shoot like it's not the end of the world if you have to like stretch your thumbs a bit right mm -hmm. like most players play on the phone so it's not like that big of a screen 
for like True. iPad, it could be like a bigger issue, but yeah. Uh, not again, like an option for like tap to shoot would be nice, even if they do plan on sticking with the joysticks. Mm -hmm. What about you, Keith? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the the option would be the main thing. But uh, something they could maybe do to alleviate some of those problems would be uh, increase the zoom out of the game a little more. So you have some more like uh, distance and depth of field to work with. Mm -hmm. I guess that could work if they had more horizontal maps, maybe. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> hmm. All right, well, let's move on to, I think, probably the most controversial, but maybe people are the most steadfast on what they think of it. What do you guys think of the auto attack that's been added to the game? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't want to get me started on the auto attack. No, no, go ahead. This is what this video is for. Um, like, I get they're like, trying to make it friendly to new players, but I really don't understand the auto attack. Like, mm hmm it works for some MOBAs, but, like, not this game. And they even, like, edited it earlier today, which is, like, the complete opposite of what the community... They made it better. ...to do. Yeah. Like, everyone's saying, like, take it down, so they make it better, of course. And, again, I understand it's for new players, but, like, new players are going to get bored, like, a month in when there's no skill progression because they don't have to know how to aim. Right. Like, I don't see any, like, longevity in the system, so... Yeah. What was your what was your thought when it came out, Keith? Yeah, it really just feels like like the whole competitive aspect of the game has just been dumbed down like way too much. It's just like I don't know, there's no skill gap anymore. Like with yeah. the auto aim, it just feels really slow. Yeah, it doesn't feel satisfying to me, and I I mean I don't know. It really like the game doesn't feel rewarding. Like, mm -hmm. any even when it was at a point where, like, for top players, it wasn't rewarding at all with, like, 200 coins per season. Yeah. And now take away, like, <laughs> the skill part, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the direction they needed to go for fixing the problems, I think. It was, uh, like, the game, the core gameplay itself was always great. It's just the uh, mm -hmm. stuff around. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, because I think what happens now with the auto attack is you find yourself in situations where it's like, okay... Is this, like, is this situation, do I go forward or backwards? There's always a right answer. It's not like, oh, maybe I can do this and I can dodge and finesse this person. But, like, no, it's like, no, if I go forwards, they're either going to hit or they're not because of the auto attack. Like, it's known whether you're going to, you know, lose this situation or not beforehand as opposed to, you know, do you have a chance of outplaying them? Yeah, it's it, crazy, man. Like, the whole aspect of juking and, like, getting mind mm -hmm. games with your opponent is just gone, though. Right. That's probably like my favorite part of the game too. Yeah. Easily. Part, yeah. yeah. I just don't see like a way where they can like make auto attack equal for the long range brawlers and the short range brawlers without making it like completely like dependable on auto attack, you know? Like Yeah. I I do get where they had I feel like what happened was maybe they're like, Okay, our controls aren't that great. How can we make that better? Alright, well what if we add a button that you know aims for you a little bit that probably helps with new players they're trying to work on player retention so they're like all right let's add the uh a button that attacks for you but i think they made it too good they made it too accurate uh, I, maybe if it was less accurate and i think it might be viable like maybe where if you're aiming the skilled players will aim manually and they'll play better than those who use auto attack if that was how it worked i think it would be okay maybe but it's not uh, um, yeah i can't like really see it being useful in this game unless they decide to like make it more like other mobas and add like two or three other attacks that you have to aim manually and then like this would kind of be like your basic attack right right yeah i can't see doing that with this game <clears throat> yeah i guess there are some other games that have a little bit of an auto attack but you do end up having to aim manually if you want to get the most of your attacks usually yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. It's just been like a frustrating like week or two since the update for everyone, I think. Yeah. I'm curious what their turnaround is going to be for potential fixes. I mean, I guess the obvious stuff they can do is like meta changes can change how strong brawlers are that might make the game a little bit more enjoyable. Like maybe make the long range and the throwers a little stronger, give them some boost. Um, anything to make the auto attack characters that are strong less strong that might help a little bit 
But, but I don't know. Yeah, that's a small that's band aid. The problem, though. Right. right. Yeah. So, that's what? what, what uh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, I was just saying that's just like balancing it out a bit more, but it's not like fixing the problem. Yeah. Exactly. So what would you say, like, what do you think the, the most important thing that needs to happen? And do you think it needs to happen, you know, before the usual time? And like, usually updates take three months. Do you think whatever fix I do needs to happen, you know, as soon as possible? Um, and what do you think that fix should be? If they want to, like, keep a majority of their top players, I'd say, like, it'd have to happen within the month. Probably. Mm -hmm. Like, three to four weeks, like, tops. Yeah, people only have so much patience for stuff like this. <clears throat> and, like, it's pretty obvious the community wants change. Like, the number three band the other day was named, like, I want half to shoot. Right. Like, yeah. That's not a sign enough. I don't know what is. Yeah. And, again, like, we've definitely played this game more than the devs, like, team has, like, combined probably, right? So I think we have, like, a pretty good opinion on, like, what's important. And it just seems like we're talking to deaf ears here, like, we say one thing, like, we sign, like, petitions with, like, thousands of players. We do, like, like documents, like, you were sending around, like, Reddit posts. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, they literally, like, make, like, thing we're complaining about the most, like, that. Well, I do know they hear all our feedback. Um, but I, I also think they knew ahead of time going into this update that it wasn't going to be received well. I don't know <laughs> if they expected it to this degree. But, and I'm, I don't know, I guess we're just going to have to wait to hear more from them and see what they're planning. But all we can do is speculate. I don't know, I have, yeah. I have faith. All the other updates were really good. It was just this one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm too far invested in this to not have some faith. Yeah. So, I'm just like hanging on at this point. <laughs> I'm with you. Alright, so let's talk about the last question I really had. was, What do you guys think about... Brawl Stars as an esport at the moment. I know before we we've all been pretty excited about Brawl Stars as an esport. I know I think all three of us really thought that it's had a lot of potential, and I really thought it could be probably the top esport for mobile games. I really thought it had that potential. But what do you yeah. think about now? Well, <laughs> even improving like auto aim and keeping that feature. I don't really see how this game could be that competitive. Like, mm -hmm. they literally moved, like, all the skills from the game, basically. Yeah, like, I've always had really high hopes for the, the competitive in this game, but, like, just like we were saying earlier, it's just the game feels slow and dumbed down now, and that's not interesting to watch, especially on, like, a high competitive, like, high octane scene. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. That's true. Yeah, actually, I do kind of... It has felt slower. I mean, one thing I felt with landscape mode that was better for spectating was you can see a lot more at once. But you're right, yeah, it doesn't... That is definitely a plus. Yeah, right. But it, it, it does feel a lot noticeably slower. And if I'm thinking about, like, commentating on a game, there's going to be less, like, exciting, like, oh, this is happening, like, all at once. I don't know. Maybe maybe I got to try out some more commentating, but it does feel like it would be not quite as exciting to watch. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Yeah. I mean, I hope there's some changes like before it even gets considered to be like an esports game. Yeah. But I right. can't see it like, being esports in its current state, at least. Yeah. Even if controls were fixed, even if I don't removed from the game, we're still you know a good yeah. like length away from being an esport so yeah, yeah definitely so there's time there's hope I, we we can have some faith in supercell they've done well before uh yeah i mean it's definitely like my favorite like mobile mobile game company ever so right yeah i still have some faith in them <laughs> yeah and they're doing well with clash royale as an esport it's really growing they just announced a brand new league for Clash Royale. They're doing something similar to franchising, not quite franchising, but that's really exciting. And so they definitely want to make an esports. So hopefully it can happen. Yeah, for sure. All right, but that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Do you have any clothing comments, uh, Keith or OG? Um, 
Remove auto aim and bring back tap to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I can get behind that. All right, there you go. I can get behind that too. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you later. <laughs>